WhatsApp, a messaging app that revolutionized the way people communicate globally, was founded in 2009 by Brian Acton and Jan Coombe. The platform quickly gained popularity for its simplicity, efficiency, and commitment to user privacy. However, the journey of WhatsApp's founders did not end with the sale of their creation to Facebook in 2014. This video explains the current whereabouts and activities of Brian Acton and Jan Coombe, shedding light on their post-WhatsApp endeavors. In 2009, Acton co-founded WhatsApp with Jan Coombe. Acton served as the executive chairman of WhatsApp after Facebook bought the company in 2014. In 2017, following reported differences with Facebook, Acton left the company to start his foundation focused on promoting privacy and data protection. So, why did they sell WhatsApp to Facebook? Coombe and Acton sold WhatsApp to Facebook for $19 billion. The sale was one of the biggest tech acquisitions in history. Both Coombe and Acton became billionaires. Coombe served as WhatsApp CEO until he resigned from the post in 2018. However, his entrepreneurial spirit eventually led him to pursue new ventures. In 2017, Acton founded the Signal Foundation alongside Moxie Marlin Spike, the creator of the Signal Encryption Protocol. The Foundation's mission is to develop and promote privacy-focused communication tools. Signal, an encrypted messaging app, quickly gained traction for its commitment to user privacy and security. Acton's dedication to digital privacy and his continued efforts to provide secure communication platforms showcase his unwavering commitment to empowering users in the digital age. The reasons behind the sale have been cited as a combination of financial gain and the opportunity for WhatsApp to scale its user base and technology with the help of Facebook's resources. In a blog post announcing the acquisition, Coombe emphasized that Facebook's commitment to user privacy was a key factor in the decision to sell the company. Coombe always keeps a note from Acton that says no ads, no games, no gimmick. The purchase of Instagram for $1 billion in 2012 was Facebook's largest until the WhatsApp deal was consummated, which turned Acton and Coombe into billionaires. So, what co-founders Coombe and Acton did next? The two founders reportedly had disagreements with Facebook, especially on how the social media giant wanted to monetize WhatsApp and integrate it with its other product. Both Coombe and Acton have since become vocal critics of Facebook's approach to privacy and data protection. Coombe resigned in 2018 reportedly due to disagreements with Facebook over data privacy and encryption. Coombe has since dedicated himself to philanthropy and is known for his advocacy for online privacy and encryption. In the wake of the Cambridge Analytica scandal, Acton even advocated for users to delete their Facebook accounts. On March 20, 2018, Forbes reported that Acton had publicly tweeted support for the Date v Facebook movement in a new level of public backlash. In November 2019, the journalist Stephen Levy asked Acton why he decided to make his feelings so public. Acton said he felt that it was time because there was pressure unfolding against Facebook. Since then, Coombe has maintained a relatively low public profile. While he has not publicly disclosed his specific activities, it is known that he remains involved in philanthropy. Coombe, who once experienced financial hardship growing up, has expressed a deep appreciation for education. It is speculated that he is engaged in philanthropic activities, particularly those focused on supporting educational initiatives and charitable causes. Based on an examination of tax returns filed by Coombe's foundation, Kayum donated tens of millions of dollars to the Russia-Ukraine war. These generous donations have been directed towards Jewish organizations actively engaged in relief efforts in Eastern Europe. Since 2014, Brian Acton and his wife Tegan Acton started to build a philanthropic network through the foundation Wildcard Giving, with three sister foundations. Sunlight Giving, Acton Family Giving, the couple started Sunlight Giving in 2014, a family foundation dedicated to supporting the basic services of low-income families with young children ages 05. It also provides support for safe spaces and organizations that ensure food security, housing stability, and health care access. The foundation supports low-income families with children aged 5 and below living in the San Francisco Bay Area. It's a sister organization belonging to the Wildcard Giving Family, Sunlight Giving has $470 million in assets. It granted $6.04 million in 2015, $19.02 million in 2016, 
and $23.06 million in 2017. This private foundation helped to fund Magnify Community, a non-profit organization to redirect philanthropists giving to non-profits. In 2019, Forbes reported that Brian Acton and his wife had given more than $1 billion billion to charitable causes over their lifetimes. The post-WhatsApp journeys of Acton and Coombe showcase the multifaceted nature of their talents and interests. Despite moving on from the messaging platform that brought them international acclaim, both founders continue to contribute to the tech and philanthropic landscapes in meaningful ways. The legacy of WhatsApp lives on not only in its continued use by billions, but also in the ongoing pursuits of its visionary founders.